Welcome to this How to Frame a Window Opening and Install a Window video. Here you will learn the steps to framing a window wall opening, installing siding, and installing and trimming a window on your storage shed. The first step is to frame the window opening on the wall. The length of the header is determined by the width of the window you plan to install. Headers are typically 3 inches longer than the framed opening, so each end can rest on the 1 and 1 half inch trimmer board. It is important to calculate the load that will rest on the header and size it accordingly before it is installed. The window opening is typically 1 half inch larger than your window, so you will have 1 quarter inch space around the window frame. You should verify the framing and installation instructions with your window manufacturer. The depth of the header is determined by the amount of load it needs to carry and how long it is. When laying out your wall plates, you will place marks for the window king studs and trimmers on both the top and bottom plates. Draw a K for the king stud location and a T for the trimmer. After the window opening is laid out on the wall plates, you will mark the wall stud layout for the rest of the wall. Learn how to lay out a wall stud at 16 inches on center by clicking on this video link. The next step is to build the header for the window opening. The header is made by sandwiching a piece of 7 16 OSB between two header boards or nailing two LVL beams together. This video will show you assembling the header from 2x4 boards with a piece of OSB between them. Start by cutting the two header boards 3 inches longer than your rough opening size. Then cut a piece of OSB or plywood to sandwich between the two header boards. It should be a bit smaller than the header boards so it does not stick out around the edges. Crown the two header boards and then set the piece of OSB between them. Align the edges of the header boards flush with each other and then nail them to each other using 12D nails. The next step is to nail the header to the king studs. When a window opening is added to a wall, the header and king stud assembly is typically built first so that you can work on the sides of the window opening assembly without hitting any adjacent wall studs. Set a king stud on each side of the header. Crown them and align the header with the marks on the king studs that show the top of the window opening. Nail the king studs to the ends of the header. Our window is going to sit as high as possible, so we align the header with the tops of the king studs. Now you are ready to nail the king studs and header assembly to both the top and bottom plates on their respective king stud marks. After the wall plates are nailed to the king studs, you will install the trimmer boards below the header. Measure the distance from the bottom of the header to the top of the bottom plate and cut a trimmer board for each side of the doorway. Crown and install the trimmers by nailing the bottom plates to them and nailing them to the king studs. Make sure to nail from the inside of the window opening so if the nails protrude they will stick out on the inside of the wall and not into the window opening. If your window has open space between the window header and the top plate, you can install the cripple studs between the header and top plates at this time. The next step is to install the window sill. Measure down from the bottom edge of the header and mark the window opening on the trimmers. Cut a board to the distance between the trimmers and install it with its top edge on the sill marks on the trimmers. You will need to toenail this connection. Measure, cut, and install cripple boards below the sill. You should install a board at each end of the sill and on any layout marks along the wall plate. The rest of the wall around the window opening is framed using typical 16 inch on center layout. Click on this video link to learn how to frame a wood stud wall. After the shed walls are framed, you will stand and install them. 
You can learn more about standing shed walls by clicking on this link to view our wall framing video. After the walls are stood and the double top plates are installed, you are ready to install the siding around the window opening. To cut the siding away from a window opening, you will install the siding on one side of the opening and then use a tape measure and measure from the back edge of the siding to the rough frame sides of the window opening. Transfer the measurements to the outside face of the siding. Then use the measurement marks to make cut lines on the face of the siding. If enough of the header and sill are visible, you can align a straight edge with them on the visible side of the window and overlap the straight edge on the face of the siding on the part of the window that is covered. Then mark along the straight edge to show the location of the window opening. When you are done, you should have a drawing of the window opening on the face of the siding. Set a circular saw to the depth of the siding thickness and cut along the window opening cut lines. It helps to cut on the outside of the lines to be sure that you remove any siding that might overlap into the window opening. After the siding is cut away from the window opening, you will install nails around the opening. Now you are ready to install the siding sheet on the other side of the window opening. After the siding is installed, you will repeat the process to remove the siding material on the second half of the window opening. If the siding covers the whole window opening, you can roughly locate the opening and cut a 12 inch square hole in the center of the opening. Then put a tape measure through the hole and measure and transfer the location of the wall framing to the face of the siding as described earlier. After the siding is cut away from the window opening, you will install nails around the opening. After you install the roof framing, you will be ready to install the window. The next step is to prepare the window opening by installing flashing around the three lower sides of the window. Make sure that the flashing does not extend farther onto the wall than the width of the trim you install around the window. Start at the bottom of the opening and extend the flashing past each side of the window opening by the width of the flashing. Install flashing to the sides of the window opening and extend the flashing past the top and bottom of the opening by the width of the flashing. Now you will apply a 3 8 inch bead of flexible sealant around the entire window opening. Make sure to get it close enough to the opening that the window flange will cover it. The next step is to set the window in the opening and center it. Make sure that the weep holes on the window are down and to the outside of the shed. Press the window into the sealant to get a good continuous seal between the window and the shed wall. Center the window in the opening by sliding it to one side and marking the wall at the flange edge on the side you pushed it to. Then slide the window to the other side and make another mark on the side you pushed it to. Now, center the window between the two marks. The next step is to install one fastener through one of the holes in the nailing fin on the top right side of the frame, about three to four inches below the top corner. Make sure the fasteners are long enough to go one inch into the wall stud behind the siding or sheeting. Use a level to make sure that the window is sitting level and plumb in the opening. If you are installing a window that opens, you will need to check that it is square so it will open properly. The window should have full support under the seal. Use a 1 quarter inch thick shim to hold the window off the sill. After the window is level and plumb, install a second fastener through one of the holes in the nailing fin on the lower left corner of the window. Double check that the window is level and plumb and square and opens properly if it is an openable window. Continue installing fasteners through every other nailing hole around the window. The fasteners along the top nailing fin on the head of the window should be installed at the top of the holes and should not compress the fin so if the header moves it will not affect the window.
The next step is to install the flashing across the head of the window. Overlap the nailing fin and extend it out the sides to the width of the flashing. If your flashing is not self-adhering, you should seal the flashing around the nailing fin with flexible sealant. The top flashing goes over the outside of the window, so if water comes in contact with the flashing, it will stay on the outside of the window. Trim the top flashing so it does not stick out beyond the side flashing, and wood window trim. Now you are ready to install trim around the window. Start at the bottom of the window and install the sill first. Use galvanized fasteners to install all trim and siding on your shed. Install the side pieces of trim second and the top head piece of trim last. Make sure to leave about 1 8 of an inch between the trim and the window to allow for expansion between the window and trim materials. The last step is to fill the gap between the window and the trim with a flexible sealant. You will also install sealant between the trim and the shed wall. Continue learning about shed building by clicking on one of these videos. Thanks for watching.